Chapter 8. Git init. The first thing you'll notice as we start using Git is that it does not require any sort of central component or server. Those of you who have trouble distinguishing between Git itself and the popular Git hosting services such as GitHub or GitLab should take a moment to appreciate this. You don't need anything to use Git. You can use it on your own without collaborating with anyone. All you need to do is open a terminal window and in the directory or folder where you want to keep track of your changes or versions you type git init. Congratulations, you have just created a git repository. An empty repository for now, but a git repository nonetheless. The English dictionary tells us that a repository is a place where things are stored. In git parlor, we use the word repository to refer to the top level folder where git is doing its magic of keeping track of our files. In it, we can create as many files and subfolders as we like, and they are all inside our repository. If, however, we go up one level, we are outside of our repository.